Hi everyone, welcome back again to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise and this reading I'm going to dive into Prince Andrew's Karma. Okay, so the forces in motion in his life, the Six of Cups reversed, his challenges, and over here I'll do four cards for the karma that he brought in for this lifetime. Whew. I think he's got a heart condition. I, I'm empathing. Uh, when I was shuffling the cards, I kept feeling this, like, pain on the right side of my heart which is you know that's that's like ma the male the masculine side I'm feeling it really strongly with these four cards okay two cards up here for what what karma's hanging over over him currently okay and then Four cards over here for his, um, you know, being that the dude doesn't really have a profession, you know, he's pretty much has just been a parasite on the, you know, on the royal family. Um, and I think he's been recently um, relieved of his duties. So I'll just, instead of any professional future, I'll just call it personal future. His personal future. Okay. All right. So we know that the guys allegedly, um, You know, he's an accused sex offender. He's been accused of, um, a, well, it's, it's uh, what's her name, Virginia Giffray, who um, has accused Jeffrey Epstein of um, sex trafficking. And there's pictures of her when she was much younger. Um, I think her name was Virginia Roberts then, but she she married and um so but anyway as as a young, very young gal with and you know she's smiling and she's she, she's right next to him um so anyway he's he of course he's disputing it but anyway he 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 had close ties to Jeffrey Epstein and, um, and Jeffrey Epstein was a sex trafficker, along with Ghislaine Maxwell. And um, so anyway, she's saying Virginia Giffray has said that she was forced to have sex with a prince on at least three separate um, times when she was underage. So the queen has protected him. Um, so there's that. And, um, you know, they don't comment about it. So anyway, the forces in motion in his life currently, with the Ace of Cups reversed, has him, you know, just holding his, you know, the, the love in his heart that could come through down, which is probably why I was empathing heart issues with him. Even though I don't have the Three of Swords here, I, you know, learned <laughs> years ago to trust my body to tell me the truth. You sometimes learn it the hard way. But anyway, the forces in motion in his life is that he's very empty. He's empty inside. And um, he's in pain. Whether or not he allows himself to feel it or not, he's he's in emotional pain. Now the the challenge with the eight of wands, 
that brings in the issue of a lot of a lot of bad news, a lot of negative press, um, and it can be that things come through really quickly uh, to you know to make this even worse. So. Who knows if maybe even, you know, if maybe all this stuff with, um, maybe Harry and Meghan got kind of pushed out or, or maybe the reason that they wouldn't protect the two of them and their family, I you know, on their uh, their tours that they had to uh, to do. I mean, in, remember, speaking of tours, uh, Prince Harry did two tours in Afghanistan. So the dude knows how to fight, and he's a hard worker, and he's been independent of because he didn't have to do that. He's been pretty independent of the crown. So there's that. Now. Then he gets married to Meghan afterwards, and their family's not protected, doing tours in order to, you know, work for the, the crown. So, of course, this is why they leave. But now there's all this press about it, and now the distraction, you know, this could have been a diversion, a distraction. You know, now the news isn't on him, isn't on Prince Harry anymore as much. Or not Prince Harry, I'm sorry, Prince Andrew, the dude I'm reading on. So this makes me wonder if his challenge, you know, is just all the information coming out. But he's stuffing it all down. And he's, he's empty. So the karma, the specific karma that he brought in from his past life is he was very, very distorted and deluded. And unhealthy with this seven of cups here this is a card of needing to have purpose in your life it's needing to make decisions it's having lots and lots and lots of options but I think he's just kind of gone for whatever he wanted at the time because he had all the freeding, uh, freeding, <laughs> freedom <laughs> freedom to go into, you know, like, what does he want? Riches? You know, sex? What does he want? Just go after whatever he wants. It doesn't matter, you know, because he's, he's got it all. And, but then, with this chariot reversed... He takes all these options and and he he just doesn't do anything with it. He's just, you know, no no direction because when the um the chariot straight up, you've got a you've got a direction. You're headed in a direction. And this is a card of, you know, royalty. This is a royal person riding in their chariot. But when it's reversed, his you know, he brought in this karma where he needed to make a decision and have a direction. But what does he do with the devil reversed? I, I don't know if he was able to extricate himself. I think this is kind of like a lifetime that's been very fated to deal with the deep, deep inner conflict of needing to be superior over others. And I don't think he's passed that test very well at all. I mean, because this card's all about control and abuse and addictions. You know, this is a card of lust. This is a card of um, having control and power over other people. So he comes in with this karma of the crown having control over him. So who was he in his past lifetime? I mean, these people just keep incarnating together, probably, as a soul group. So who was he in his lifetime, last lifetime? Because I did the Queen's Karma. She definitely was some type of royalty in her last lifetime. So who was he? 
and again, you know, fought the battle but lost the war. Oops, oh my goodness, what is falling down over here? Oh, oh it's just a cord, okay. That was scary. <laughs> Sounded like a snake for a second. <sighs> okay, so anyway, this, this card isn't good. This is, a, this is a card of like a deep, deep inner conflict where a soul is just steeped in duality. This is like, you know, a Donald Trump card that I used to get all the time. You know, the need to win. Winner versus loser mentality. So, he brought that in to heal. His karma currently, like what's hanging over him at this current time, is that he's needing to take self-responsibility for his past. But I think he's going to walk away from it. And so that this is, of course, the Eight of Cups. And then the Nine of Cups reversed. Well, that brings in his greediness and his fear of change and, um, you know, self-hatred. And it's also a card of addictions when it's reversed. Wow. It's also a card of just, you know, all types of loss, you know, because when it's, when it's straight up, this is a card of fulfillment, being very, very satisfied and happy. I'm trying to get the glare off there. Um, but, of course, reversed, there's a lack of fulfillment, like all the money in the world can't make you happy. And, and yeah, greedy, and he's probably an alcoholic. I mean, how else do you keep these emotions down, you know? This alcohol is quite a depressant. So, so there's that. His future? Well, he's going to be reassessing and reevaluating his life. He may be trying to reinvent himself. Um... He's planning for a new future because, of course, you know, he's been, I don't know if he's, yeah, he's been let go of his duties, but I don't know what that means. Like, he, he probably is still taken care of, but, you know, and she's protecting him. Her son's an accused sex offender, and she's protecting him. But... I think he thinks he can just recreate because that's what the magician's all about, just starting over. You know, this is his willpower and his uh, ambition and his ability to manifest. So he's thinking about, okay, now what? But with the two of wands reversed, he doesn't really have all the options he used to have. Now his options are very limited. And, and then, you know, he's afraid still, I think. And he's the, so, so it doesn't matter about all this because he's not really going to go anywhere. You know, this, this is just a lack of um, any kind of progress. I mean, straight up, it's like, you know, you can see the image here. It's, you know, the world's in your hands. You, you're you sitting at the top of the castle, and you have what, everything you need, and you're looking out going, oh, where do I want to go? What do I want to explore? Well, eh, you're not going to get much. You're not going to get far. Go ahead, try, whatever. And then he's got this page of cups where I think this is his his like immaturity um, where you know he's just kind of a dreamer and he's gonna try and find some new form of happiness maybe even a new relationship if, if he has healthy relationships I don't think so with this card here um, but you know he's got this stinky fish in a cup <laughs> so whatever dude dream on because this is what your, you know, your karma is anyway, is, is to look at your options and what you did with them and 
again, I feel like health issues here. So, I'm thoroughly uh, exhausted with this guy, or exhaust my um, ability to read these cards any further. Uh, not very exciting. The guy's been coddled and protected all his life, and he doesn't look to me like he's going to do much with it, with the rest of his life. Um, I don't know if he would be a being relieved of his duties. I don't know that he would be a part of uh, you know the monarchy in the future as far as having any power. But he may be taken care of the rest of his life. He may just drink himself to death. Drink himself to death. This card sometimes can be pretty narcissistic. So anyway, okay, that's it for Prince Andrew. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Bye.